do it. Ooh. It's weird when you hit record, it actually gets the early, it gets you like like five seconds before you've actually hit record. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play It Painted Live. Hope you're having a good Thursday evening. And uh, yeah, here we go. We got one of these again tonight. We're going to be painting some Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, and they're pretty, they're pretty simple miniatures in terms of their design. Um, but, you know, there's just a... There's just a, a couple of questions that you're going to ask before you um, tackle something like this. And one of the things that you ask when you tackle this type of design is how are you actually going to address the webbing on this character? So this is, uh, we're looking at Miles Morales Spider-Man right now. And, uh, and we're doing... You can see I'm doing an undercoat of glacial white. So <clears throat> now you got me doing that. Um, so now we're going to undercoat this white color so the red will pop a little bit more easily on this miniature so that's the plan okay um, there we go so we're working on the the other the other uh spider-man um expansion pack here for mcp so if you have any questions comments threats let me know in the comments and uh we'll try to get all those ad addressed for you hopefully your threats hopefully we can get all the the threats addressed as well all right so anyways so we're doing some some Miles Morales Spider-Man here, making sure I've got got that undercoat looking pretty good there. Right, so that when we do come back and hit it with the red, that it is going to fill out the pattern we need it to. And this is basically like an overbrush. Um, the more precision parts of this will be the fine webbing, but not, but even beyond that, the, um, the outline of Spider-Man's eyes here also going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's okay. It's just going to take a little bit of delicate, delicate level painting. It's a little bit of tedious work. I think we're up to it. I think we'll be okay. All right. All right. So if you're just joining us, let us know what you're painting. We're going to continue to paint this guy. And we'll, whoop, and we'll paint some uh, Spider Gwen as well. Now, the good news here is, you know, you make a mistake with this white overlay. Um, it's going to be very easy to correct with uh, with black. All right. But now let's go ahead and uh, let's get a good scarlet color so that we can actually start to develop the red. Maybe not, maybe not so much scarlet. Maybe... Maybe something a little bit like a, a slightly uh, truer red might be in order here. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can find a good. I thought I had a decent uh, 
a decent Reaper Red somewhere around here. Mm. Got flat red. That's not quite what I want. And get this. Let me try this Army Painter or this Dragonfire Red. Let's see it. If we let's see if we like it. I'm generally not a fan of um, of these uh, Army Painter slash GF9 paints. But let's give it a shot. And if I don't like this consistency, I just may go straight for like a contrast paint or something like that. It doesn't look that bad. So maybe this will work. Let's try it. Let's actually try it on. on one of the easier parts to fix on a model, right? So we'll try it on the fingers. If it looks good on the fingers, then we'll just keep going with it. And it doesn't, you know, doesn't look terrible. It seems to be flowing out okay. Not quite the consistency I want. That to flow out just a little bit better. Let's see if I can get some precision work around the eyes here. Because this is really where it's going to count. It's right here. So if I can't get this to lie down correctly, then that's going to be a bit of a pain, right? Not too bad. I'm going to have to strengthen the center of the eye. But that's not too bad. Let me see if I can actually get this to focus a little bit more. There we go. Okay. All right. So if I can get the eyes going, that's a pretty good indicator that I can continue on through most of the model here. Boom. Again, if you screw up, which I just did, you can correct for that, you know, just fixing with white or black, which over red is not that big a deal. Now this red just, it's not, it didn't thin out very well, it didn't suspend very well. So it's not, it's not the most even color going down right now and that's kind of a problem right you need that red to be fairly good consistency it's got to be fairly reliable for what we're about to do here let me see if I can if I can get this to So, so the idea here with the white undercoat is I should be able to just get an, a light, a light coat of the red down. 
They should actually cover pretty nicely. Right, it should actually fill in these webs pretty nicely here. And I would prefer not to have to paint every individual web, although it does help if you do that. Right, it does help everything look nice and clean if you do that. I just don't want to do it. Ooh. Yeah, this red, the consistency of the red is really kind of messing with our paint job here. But we can, we can fix that. So like I said, it's just going to take a little bit of patience on our part. And uh, probably am going to have to paint in individual webs, even though I really, really would prefer not to. Big broad stuff like the spider itself, not too bad. Okay, it's not too bad. So we'll see how we do tonight. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet evening. Which is okay, because this isn't the most exciting painting. Painting MCP isn't the most exciting painting. It's like basically you like the property and you're good with your life. That's about it. You don't, there isn't like really grand high art painting going on here. We're just trying to get this done. All right. All right, pretty good. Oh, what's up, Nelson? Yeah, it's, it is a cool miniature. It's just the particular color scheme isn't the most fun to paint because, you know, it's red over black, which just isn't a fun time unless you plan for it like I did and do a little, do a little undercoat action there. But even then, as you can see, still, still a little sloppy. So I'm trying to get, there we go. Just trying to get this to look correct. There we go. What are you up to, Nelson? down a little thick in spots. Just because of the consistency of this red is not as nice as that glacier blue used to undercoat it. So the red is kind of globbing 
in other words the droplets are a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be coming off of the brush Messing around with your dog, okay? Doggo. Okay. Well, that's not looking too bad. Okay, not looking too bad. Well, what really needs help right now is let's get let's get the whites of the eyes down. <clears throat> oh, actually, before I even do that, I'm gonna switch over to Spider Gwen here for a second. They say ghost spider. All right. I'm just going to prep her eyes a little bit for the white, the eventual white color to come in. So just going to drop some glacier blue. quite work the way I wanted it to. That was a little too liquid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't have the precision to do this on camera right now. That's not terrible, but it's also not great. I'll fix that in a minute. And then let's... Alright, let's put uh, these in. I don't know why, but um, I'm going to, there was something posted in a chat I was in this morning that was about, you know, it was, it was interesting because it was, it was a gendered question. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was specifically aimed at men. And the question was men, you know, when was the last time? A stranger complimented you, right? Which is interesting. And I guess the the um, the question was sort of geared towards making you think about something about you know using strangers complimenting you as a sign of like a, a sex an unwanted sexual advance. Right, because uh, you know, it it's it would it stands to to reason that um, that women, especially conventionally attractive women, um, receive compliments from random strangers all the time as a form of advance. Um, and so the question was like, men, do you get you know, do you get that? kind of thing and it's I see I kind of see the point of it but it's just not it's one of those things it's one of those questions that's gonna fall on its face because you because I was like wait I, I I get I've gotten compliments from a stranger um, you know in the past week or whatever I've gotten a few 
you know, there's, I don't know, maybe it's, I, I, I don't discount what the question is trying to say, if that makes sense, but um, it just doesn't, it doesn't pan out, because, uh, you know, because you can get a, you can get a compliment. Um, I, I got a, you know, I get compliments about, like, my shirt. If they like the shirt that I'm wearing, um, the last one, the last one I got was about a, you know, me wearing a Krampus shirt, um, you know, and, and a random stranger thought that was cool that I'm wearing a Krampus shirt around Christmas time. Um, you know, somebody else might say, uh, you know, nice job on doing something, right? Like if I don't know, but I've gotten a gotten a few compliments like that. So, anyways. If you would like to answer the question yourself, you know, when was the last time you got a compliment from a random stranger? Let us know in the comments. Because I just don't think, I don't think this particular scenario plays out the way that the author hopes it plays out. I think it would be better in general if people did just randomly compliment each other. I'm actually, you know, trying to get better at doing that, just complimenting people. Because it's nice. It's just a nice little, you know, for, for some other stranger or something, it can be a nice little just bonus to their day. You know that they got a, a a random compliment. Doing okay over here, mom. You see that red? I don't like how that. Do not like how that went down. Let me ask my wife since she's in the room here. When's the last time you got a compliment from a random stranger? A random? Yeah, just a random. Stranger on the street. Anything uh, like that. It wasn't that long ago. I yeah. It was like a question posed. And it was kind of, you know, it the... I guess the pretext around the question is that, like, because it, it was a question directed towards men. Men, when when was the last time a random stranger complimented you on something? I have complimented and, all the time on, like, my fun Christmas clothes and stuff. Yeah. So people compliment me on that. I would say the last time that I got a compliment from a guy, he was in that Halloween dress. And that guy was like, I think he was gay. Okay. But, like, I have guys, like, stare all the time, but they yeah. don't, like, say anything. <laughs> just like, just guys that gawk. bitch face, and then when they come at me, I'll frickin' go <laughs> <laughs> so mom. Especially if I'm with the kids, because yeah. it's just creepy if a guy compliments a woman with her kids. If, That's well, scuzzy. a compliment in front of her kids? Yeah, a compliment is, like, different than a guy being like, hey, baby. Like, yeah. a leer is gross. Well, yeah, we're not talking about leers. We're time. not talking about leers. We're not talking about... I compliment it all the time, but not usually by men, usually by women. Okay. Yeah, but I have been... I mean, I've had weird stuff. Like, I've had men walk up to me and be like, you're absolutely beautiful, and I just wanted you to know. And I was like, no, you're not getting laid. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what if they just really wanted you to know? No man just really wants a woman to know. Unless he's like Well here's an interesting like a thing. Fashion designer or a model guy or something. Like no man is doing that without trying to get some Trying to get some some, some strange. strange. Yeah. <laughs> some strange. 
what um so you mean to tell me I couldn't randomly compliment a woman out she in public? She totally thinks you're hitting on her. Really? Yeah. Because you know I've if done it. Together, you know I've okay. done it. I've done that. I like your Good. I like your shoes. I like your I like your well, yeah. your earrings or that's a cool that's shirt. Fine. I say you stuff like it. that. Like, I do that a lot. I do that. I, in fact, I was just saying that I try to, I'm trying to do that more, not just to women, but, like, to people in general. Well, that's just trying to, like, you know, it, to, to try to, I guess, in a sense, to help build people up, but also just it's better, it's just good to have interaction. Yeah, just know that if you do it to women, they're going to find it, like, they're going to, I don't know. They're they think I'm offering them the D. <laughs> I'm I'm still them. offering them the D. Well, if I have compliment. Dresser and you have, you know, good style, so. I don't know. <laughs> That's fun. There's a lot of people out there that are very insecure and they don't understand. Just a regular just, I, compliment. I smile at people all the time and they get weird. Do you? I guess you do, I, I can't and then anymore because I've got a mask on. But like, and it's kind of it's kind of can. When I'm driving around here and we drive past neighbors, I don't know. You know <laughs> I say like nine times out of ten they look away. Yeah. And then like every tenth time somebody will smile back. That's just I don't know. That's just being an expression. But you, but uh, we were talking about this before too. Like a lot of, a lot of your interactions can be construed as flirting, right? Um, same with me. Same with me. A lot of my interactions yeah, too. So it's not yeah. Flirting. Like if I see a girl with a rad outfit or a pair of shoes, like I'm very effusive about it. Yeah. But do you think that that's? But do you think the expectations are different? I just think you have to be like careful. If you, like some women have been abused or taken advantage of, and they're just more wary. Have you ever had anyone react negatively to, like, a compliment or a comment you've made? Yeah, I'd just be rude about it. And I'm like, well, fine, bitch, go away. Like right? what? Like, give me an example of that. I can't think of anything right off the top of my head. But, like, I compliment people on stuff all the time. And a lot of times I think it just makes people uncomfortable. Probably because I'm a stranger. I think a lot of people are just uncomfortable sort of getting outside of their box and talking to randos. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. Like not everyone has our confidence. Not everybody is, is comfortable just talking to a rando. But you definitely, I, I don't know, I think I think you look a, more approachable than, say, your average person. Well, that's good. I'm glad that I look I think I think you do. I think you I look... I think I do to men. No, because I think men... I Men want to come up and offer the D. But I definitely give a lot of attitude to guys because yeah. I don't want to encourage. Because the guys that usually come up to me are freaking creepers because they got nothing to lose. Yeah, them creepers, man. Yeah, so that's why they, they'll just give know, it. You have to have a guard up as a woman. That's just part of it. But like with other women, I, I'm all about being generous. Do you? So let me ask you this: mm-hmm. Would you? Would you randomly compliment a man? Uh, I have. Okay. I usually ask, like, if somebody's wearing something really cool, I'll be like, dude, where did you get that shirt? I need to get one for my husband or whatever. Yeah. Like, that's how I kind of do it. So you include in the natural, in the discourse, yeah. you include this, I'm married. And yeah, and it's not like they can't see the giant ring on my finger, but. But that hasn't stopped people. Yeah, I was I was talking uh, uh, a month ago about that dude who faked the Australian accent to try to impress you. And you <laughs> a week after we got married. Yeah, a week after we oh, got married. Rough. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I remember Carolyn liked him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, like, and he was trying. I was like, dude, I just got married. <laughs> Yeah, I came I back. I went to the bathroom. Well, I was saying that like every 
when when we used to go out, like every time I went to the bathroom, I knew I would come back and there'd be some dude rolling up, right? Trying to offer you the D. Just they just want to offer the D wherever they. Get. They're like here. Yeah. They just offer the D whenever. Uh, but we were just talking about that earlier today. Like, if a woman wants to get laid, it's not. It's hard. yeah. It's I mean, very it's like very she's easy she's for a woman. Yeah, if they. Just super busted. No, even the super busted ones. No, there's some women that are. Yeah. But I would say most guys would just do it. That was like on that episode of Friends today. Rachel's in her fourth month of pregnancy. She's like. Super horny. Yeah. And so Phoebe just brings this random music. She's like, he's agreed to have sex with you. <laughs> I don't know who she is. She's like, will you have sex with my pregnant friend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that means just tells you guys are just, you know. We just throw we just throw that D everywhere, right? That's a biological. Impact. Yeah, we gotta just spread your. Seed. We gotta just throw it everywhere. <laughs> I need to have you uh, back as a guest on this feed okay. because... <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's just it was just an interesting question. I, I, I didn't think I understood the mean. Or I think what they were trying to imply around the question because they were asking men. Men, do you get people randomly come up and and compliment you? And it, I guess it was implying that women get it more often. And that it's not, and it's often rooted in, you know, offering the D. Mm -hmm. Do you think but, women compliment men more? And when they do, are they sort of like opening up that, like, so, like okay. Opening up the, 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 <laughs> the avenue to the D? I don't to know. the D? If, well, okay, let me, let's, because let's, say, hold on, let's. You say when I'm just being me, who is just me, you yeah. say I'm being flirty, and I don't see that as being flirty at all. Like, oh, okay, I but. I flirt, I'll flirt, like, and that's not flirting to me. It's, it's easily construed as flirting. But I haven't seen you, I honestly, I haven't seen you act that way in years. Like, not in some time. Probably. But, like, uh, um. No, um, okay, so let's say if you just kind of, you already kind of answered this, because you, if you wanted to compliment a stranger, a male stranger, I wouldn't you, unless I preface it with. you would say, my husband would, you know, I would want to, I would want to know where you got your shirt your for my husband. Shirt, that he was like, where did you get that? I need that for my husband. Yeah. I got it at Target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, that's how I do it, it's, it's preface that way. But, you know, I think, too, ever since having kids, I'm much more protective, too, now, even. Yeah. And, like, I got really pissed because the, the kids were in the car, and a guy said something to me at the gas station, and I just freaking was, like, so <laughs> mean to him. I was so mean. I was just, like, you should have seen my face. Like, it was just <laughs> so mean. And the guy, like, backed off. Like, he, I just flashed him a look, like, and I was, like, thanks, like that. Oh. Just. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Don't compliment the lady in front of her kids. What kind of chump? You know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to defend these guys. I mean, they how just... <laughs> sad and sick and lonely are you if you're going to come on to a woman in front of her children? Yeah, small children. That's gross. Yeah. You're fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking pathetic. Gross, and you have bad boundaries, and you don't understand that there's a time and a place for everything. That is let me, okay. Let me ask you this question: Super Is there, let's say, you were not with your kids, and you were out by yourself? Oh, people they stare, but then I just. But wait, 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 hold okay. on. Stay on for the whole ride. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so you're you're off by yourself, okay. right? And a very polished good looking man comes up to you and says something nice like hey i like what you've done you know i like your hair or uh you know those are really pretty shoes you're wearing or something like that i get that a lot and usually i say thank you and i'm very kind but i don't smile i, I just kind of well thank you yeah 
But I mean, do you take? Like even when do that you? Guy, are, which I'm sure now was gay. Was like, oh my god, your dress is amazing. I didn't even look at him. I was like, I've seen you know? that. I mean, they, the, uh, gay guys will come up and compliment you when we're together because they don't care. Guys, yeah, they don't. don't care. Yeah, because like, it, it's definitely come not come even. Like, Girl, and give me a hug. Like that's different. Yeah. That's do you funny. remember when? When we went to that karaoke place in Laguna Beach, it was like a gay, it was a gay karaoke bar, Mm -hmm. and you sang, um, you sang, you sang a carpenter song, (laughs) and the gay dudes were crying in the (laughs) audience, and what, what did they, they came up to me, they were like, like, treasure her, or something like that, it was, it was amazing, that was amazing. My oh yeah, and grabbed, and me, grabbed me. Like, yeah. How have you? He said, "At last, your mind." That's he wrapped. He yeah. grabbed. He wrapped his arms around me and said, "At last, your mind." And see, that was. I felt weird. like the cat with Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Trying to slide out of the arms <laughs> there. Le <laughs> 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 Pew. So you okay, so but like, yeah, no, no, I get that. With that all the time. But but what I'm what I'm trying to get what I'm trying to get out of you is I'm trying to get is there an instance where somebody some you know somebody can pay you a compliment and make you feel genuinely attractive and flattered and you're okay with it and you just go on with your day Even and you feel better like what. Like, sorted. like, walk me through what is there a success story? I guess that's all I'm really asking. Yeah, like one time I was yeah. at Macy's at Lagoon Hills Mall back when there was a thing there, and I had a really cute dress on, and I was shopping, and I think it was before we had kids, and this mm-hmm. man walked up to me, and he was like, "I just want you to know you're the most beautiful woman I think I've ever seen, and I just wanted you to know." And he then and then he broke like, out, and I said, "Thank you, that's really nice," mm-hmm. but I clearly put up like a boundary. Is and then there? I kind of flashed the ring and. Is there a – what are the parameters there? Okay, so, uh, like, does he have to have – does he have to be, behave a certain way? Does he have to have a certain minimum level of attractiveness? When when does it go – I guess what I'm asking is when, when does it go from – He was classy about it. He okay. didn't make me feel like a piece of meat. It was like a genuine compliment, and he didn't – he wasn't like, hey, baby. It was <laughs> – but, like, I've even had, like, I told you about the veterinarian that called me and asked me out that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that was, was when of, we that were was, dating? That was, I wasn't even with you. That was before you. Oh, that was before me. I thought that, I thought that happened after, like, no, while we were. Like, no? no. Okay. That was, like, a year or so before I met you. Okay. And I was still dating um, Aaron. And, um, yeah, and he called to talk about. And then launched, he had left on my answer machine. Like he had been. He, he had asked, asked you out in his answer answering machine. machine. Yeah. Wow. Like Kelly from the office. What? You should ask a girl out on the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was a little bit uncomfortable. And so we talked at first, and then I said, you know, I'm very flattered, but I am in a relationship. And, mm-hmm. you know, and he was like, okay, well, I hope this wasn't uncomfortable. I said, no, it was fine. Yeah. But honestly, it was a little bit unprofessional, I would say. Yeah, because now it's like the next time you go into the vet. Well, I went and saw him again. I wasn't embarrassed or upset about it. I yeah. Like, I, my cats are more important than freaking weird vet. He wasn't there much longer, though, but I think we saw him a couple more times. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It just is weird. It, like, I don't know. It's really hard. It's really hard to be a guy, I think, and know what's appropriate and what's not. Yeah. We were, talking, we were watching that sexual harassment thing the other day. Yeah, which is a, a hobby of mine. I love watching. <laughs> I, I love watching workplace sexual harassment videos. Well, They're awesome. Like now it's like you can't even make jokes, and it's like if someone overhears somebody talking about something else, they can report it. I, think, mm-hmm. I just think it's really hard. For guys. Well, not even that. Like we were talking about this. Um, because swingers came on, yeah, 
a few nights ago, yeah. which is an awesome movie. And for you millennials watching right now, you should go watch Swingers you because watch it. it's because it's a, it's a it's a historical context from a time where men had to have what was called game mm-hmm. in order to walk up and talk to a woman. You just had you to just swipe right. You or can't left. just yeah. You, you can't just swipe. Writer, you, you you can't, but it's so it's harder and easier in some sense. And I was the way I was explaining it is, for somebody like me, that was a better playing field, because because I could, I could aim high, right? I could I could I could escape the echelon of 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 standard phys- physical attractiveness for which I am, right? I could shoot. Really I, I could shoot a couple points higher is what I'm saying, right? Because you, because you had all those those other benefits. Like you were an awesome dancer. You were an awesome conversationalist. You come across as yeah. non-creepy to women. But, you come across as like very respectful. So that is but thing. Okay, but let's let's use me as an example here, right? Because okay. cause you and I met online. Yeah. And you were going to swipe left on me because you saw the pictures – and you had a giggle. You laughed at my profile. Pretty damn, pretty, pretty <laughs> pathetic picture. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So... Like the worst selfie I've ever seen. I was like, what the fuck is this? That's but all. But your profile was so funny, and I was reading it with Titi, and she was like, "You have to meet this person. Like he's yeah. just like you." And I was like, "Yeah, I, I totally have to meet him." Right. What I'm saying is, though, and just so you without guys that, know, with his profile, it's terrible. <laughs> It was like, what are the five things you need? That was like, or what you can't live without. I was like, my shoes, my books, my kitties. He was like, oxygen, water, sunlight. <laughs> and I asked the last book you read, and it was the in-flight emergency information. <laughs> Which, was literally that was literally the last book I read. How everybody looks way too calm when they're going down. Yeah. It was, just, it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, this guy's amazing. Like, I have to meet him. So, yeah. It was right, but Tinder, you don't get that. Well, I don't know. You I'm basically, I watched, um, I I watched one girl at, the, at my work, and she was, she's not attractive. <laughs> but I watched one girl at my work. She had her little Tinder thing out, and she was doing the thing. Swipe left. For, and it was like, you don't even... You know, she's going through these pictures, and these dudes do not even get, like, a full second sometimes. Well, it's just like, so bam, you're out. You bam, because, you're in. Bam, you're out. Because right? I think a lot of these people are not trying to, like, have lasting relationships. They're just, like, it's like hookup culture. Yeah. And so if that's all it's about, and you just want to, like, you know, knock boots, I guess yeah. it's fine to just be totally superficial. But I don't understand. But, but so it's, but what I'm saying is, weird. it's, it's. We were just saying it's harder today for a number of reasons, right? Because well, people don't know how to talk because to people anymore. don't know how to approach each other anymore, and the tools for which the 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 tools which people use to meet each other are very very base. Yeah, and kind of cold. Because you're just things. like, oh, 10, 10, 10 out of ten would bang, right? Swipe so right. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, I think and people are afraid. They don't know how to talk to each other. They don't. They don't have that anymore. And I think it's really weird that, like, now you think even more with like all the rules now. Like, yeah. You're afraid to say shit because you don't know what somebody's gonna react to, or if you're gonna say the wrong thing, if you're gonna offend somebody. I mean, everybody's mm-hmm. so nervous. So I think that just adds to it. So how do you? Which is ironic because uh, if you put it in print, it's even longer yeah. lasting and weird but i don't know whatever like i don't even understand how like how would you if you really wanted a long lasting relationship how would you even do that today how do you do know, that dude, like, i don't know like look, we we got each other we don't have to worry about this That's anymore i don't know but, a lot of this stuff like i know about it like you were saying you watch the girl on tinder yeah just watch her go this like this and i'm like you dude can, like research <laughs> online without getting your stuff in there so yeah you and I we couldn't make on, a profile. We make a profile, and then everybody right. would have that, and so it would be out there in the internet. It's not something you can just like. Your just work, your out. work would find out, and they yeah, would see. Exactly. Yeah. It would look 
really sketchy, so it's not even something that... Damn, this is jacked up, man. Yeah. Because, remember, so, I, afterwards, I wanted to see what Match was like again. So I, like, looked oh, yeah. at my profile again, and then all these people started emailing me, and I was like, oh, my God, and I just canceled it. Because yeah. Because I was like, I just wanted to see how it had evolved, because... I mean, it's it's it was 16 years ago this January. Yeah, isn't it weird we that we we had to lie to people about how we met Back early then, on? Yeah. We had to lie to people. Well, we didn't have to, but it just was it was not socially like, yeah it wasn't socially it wasn't comfortable yeah. to say you met your you know you met your girlfriend online like you yeah. you didn't. So it sounded like you were you were desperate and you didn't have any game. Now it's like if you didn't meet, like everybody meets online. Like, oh yeah, I'm just... Yeah. They don't even say like I'm dating someone anymore. It's like I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to this guy. I'm yeah, and girl. and so back then, would you... Well, okay, so back like at the time we met, I was like your first online date, yeah. right? Yeah, I went so, out with some other guys though, but... And but were, so how did... Creepers. So there prior to me... <laughs> I I did I'm creepers. I'm really sad I didn't like take pictures of some of the guys. Like, yeah. There was this one, like Fabio looking guy. Like, <laughs> and he had this like picture with his hair. All, all, all over this, and he was like five one. He was like shorter than I was. And I was like, this guy's amazing. Like, was, like I wish I still had that. Like I I hope good things for this man. You hope like European or something. Yeah. I don't know. He found a beautiful baby. But yeah, American really, Barbie. It was really weird, but I just, I look back and I think, God, there was, and there were some people that basically just wanted, they were just down to F. Like, they yeah. didn't care. Yeah. They didn't have, have any interest in anything else. So there was some, there was a creepy element there. So, okay, so at the time you met me, the percentage of um, guys that you dated that met you in person physically versus the ones you met online first what how did that break out was it like 80 20 the 80 percent of the dudes I had that you not met anybody online and that's how we started a relationship so so like 95 five right when when yeah. you and i met and for me it was more like probably 60 40 60 percent of the girls i dated were i met in real no it's it was even no it's like 75 25 75 25 so 75 percent of the girls i dated i met just somewhere versus 25 percent i met online like dating dating like you were out there like kind of dating i had like i was like a serial monogamous like the last three guys i I was like one at work the other one i met actually at a I met a Kokomo's, God bless. Remember Kokomo's? Oh, I remember Kokomo's. Yeah. yeah. So terrible, but whatever. Um, and then the one before that, I met some friends. So, like, I don't... Hmm. But I didn't meet a whole bunch of people at, like, bars. It was usually through friends or whatever. Like, it's yeah. just... It was always through some other thing. That's why it's, it's just weird to me that people don't, like... But there's no... Yeah, there's no... Like, there's no icebreaker thing. There's no... You don't just do you don't do that anymore. There's not you used to go out and you did your activity. That's how you met people. Yeah. You went out and you did your activity, whatever your activity was, right? For 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 me it was I like to go to clubs and yeah. you know and and that sort of thing. Um, you know, some people they'd be prowling at church. Well, I was just some say, people, <laughs> you know, I mean, so, a lot of guys at church. Some like, people do up, like, I heard about coffee shops being a thing. People picking each other up at coffee shops. I have never seen. seen I've seen it, but it was never kind of like a thing. Usually, but you see, usually if I would go to a coffee shop or whatever, I'd have a book and I would just be hiding and doing my thing. I don't know. But everybody does that now. You go. Everybody goes to a coffee shop and they're all looking at a screen or something. So there isn't. But back then there was not a whole lot of people on screens. Yeah. Like, and that was always my thing. You know, I would go out places by myself all the time, but I would always bring a book. Mm-hmm. It's one of my back. That's why you got hit on all the time, because you'd go out by yourself. And yeah, but if you're Dudes be book, rolling up. Be, no, people just didn't do it. They didn't bug me when I had my book. Hmm. I mean, sometimes, but usually not, because it's obvious I was reading. I 
I wasn't like just pretending. I was actually Have you ever picked up somebody? Have you picked up anybody in person, like a rando I that you? I don't think so, but I'm gonna have to actually think about that. Do you yeah. know about my memories now? Yeah. Um, I've done crazy, stupid things and said stupid stuff, but I've never like picked up a guy. Like it, I've always let the guy come to me. Oh yeah. Well, that's good. But then I've been, know, I've, I've been, been kind of terrible to some of them. <laughs> <laughs> like those guys that we ditched in Vegas got to buy us dinner and then jam- jumped into a cab. But I played TT for that one. All right. To comment, unless I look like a nine or a ten. Most girls auto presume I'm a creep. That is like, kind of true, and you know what the saddest thing is? Yeah. Too, that it's so weird. I was just saying this to Octavius because he was saying how one of his friends' dad kind of gives him the creeps, and they said, you know, a lot of times the people that look the most safe are the most dangerous, are the creepiest people. Yeah. And I would say, yeah, and that. You know, sometimes somebody who you don't think looks, like, super cool, like, and safe or whatever could be, like, the nicest person in the world. So don't hmm. judge a book by its cover. However, you need to be wary in yeah. life, too. You know, the vulnerable people like him and women and yeah. women and kids have to be smart like that. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's a creepy thing. It's just, to to me, it's just, it's so interesting. It's like, I want to do a case study. I just, I don't understand the modern human interaction. I don't get how, I don't understand how people meet each other other than this weird, this weird app thing. I know. And the Um, truth is that that if you do not have the, if you do not act like a, like a guy, this is for the guys. If you mm -hmm. talk to a woman like slimy, in any way, pick up lines, anything cheesy, you come at her leering, leeringly, is that a word? Yeah, word? I um, guess. If you do anything other than coming up and being like, hello, my name is, and I would love to buy you a drink, mm-hmm. to be open to that, or mm-hmm. I would love to sit and have a coffee with you, or whatever. Yeah. And if you just respect, be respectful and polite, I think. You'll get politeness back. This person might already be in a relationship. They may not be interested, but they will probably be more polite than being like, get away free. Do you think, um, do you think that there are, you know, less charismatic people in the younger generation because of this? Oh, I know they aren't charismatic. They don't know what to like, do. They don't know how to talk to each other. They tell <clears throat> I've had these conversations with my seniors. Okay. I'm like, so what do you guys do? You're dating? No, we're just talking to each other. So what does that mean? So you guys just like, then what do you do? You just like get together and like hook up and that's it? You just like... They just smash parts, yeah. And so yeah, and I go, well, don't you want anything deeper and more meaningful? And it's like, well, why? They're like, what's that? What's that? I think there's just a lot of not understanding of what relationships are. Plus, you have to understand that most of those kids are products of divorce or have never understood marriage and sure. don't understand relationships. They've never seen it modeled. So if you're in scenarios, I w- you're in scenarios where, where you go in and it's a lot of younger people around you, like you come off as like this bright, like charismatic beacon Sometimes. Right, because you're like you're you can you can like navigate a room. You can talk to a bunch of people in that room. I feel that way, right? And that for me, that's not something that came comfortably, right? I had to build. I had to build to that. I don't think it comes um, completely comfortable for everybody. I mean, I feel more comfortable on stage singing a song than I would. I mean, I still get really nervous if I have to speak in a staff meeting or something. But when it comes to my students, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, see, that kind of stuff doesn't phase me anymore. Yeah. Like speaking, I've, you know, if I have to speak to executives or, you know, top level yeah. clients, that kind of thing, that doesn't, if I, if, you know, if you put me in a room of full of them, it wouldn't, for, for whatever reason, that just doesn't phase me anymore. Well, because you do it so much. Because, yeah, because I do it. it. 
sound stupid, and I don't know why. There's just, I mean, I'm just, I'm not the most secure person in the world. There's still things that make me insecure. And when it comes to, like, I don't know, teaching a class, I know I'm doing a good job, but if I have to talk about it, sometimes I feel uncomfortable. I just feel like edu speak and all that stuff that comes more naturally to other, say, teachers discussing education. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like... For me, it's more of a just a natural gut thing. So when I actually have to explain it, I don't feel like it's really comfortable. I see. Yeah, I don't know. It's but that's it's an insecurity. I mean, I'll be real. Like, I don't like to stand up in the staff meeting and talk. But okay. Put me in front of the class. I don't care. I'm not nervous at all. I'm not nervous in front of the kids. Yeah, and you're but you're you're a natural extrovert, right? From the time I was, but you know, as I've gotten older, I've become much more introverted. I would say, and I do value my privacy so much more. See, I, it's been the opposite for me. I know. Right, I was way, way more introverted, and now, now I'm, you know, I now I personality test equally. Well, I'll test it. I'll t- I'll test out as an extrovert or an introvert. But look at how we grew up. Yeah. Okay? I was just me and my mom. So, obviously, I was an extrovert. I was, like, desperate for, you know, human contact. And then here's you in the house full of people. And yeah, and I just want to be left alone. I just want to be left alone. So, that yeah. makes total sense. It makes sense. Sure. And then as we grow into ourselves, we sort of, like, overcompensate for what is lacking. And I've, I've seen you become super, like, confident in a lot of ways and more extroverted just since we've been together. Definitely. Right, because, um, and there's a lot of things too that lend to that, like professional skill, even gaming, mm-hmm. right? Because I host gaming stuff, and you kind of have to be more. You have to. You have to be more. I guess the word is charismatic. You have to be more charismatic yeah. well, if you you're trying to. Control the, not control the room, but command the room. Right, you're, you're you're trying to keep people's attention and. You're trying to keep them excited about something. So, yeah, that, that, that does make a lot of sense. All right, babe. I liked your little half, our, our little half I discussion. I just came down to say what's up, but... Hey, baby. Mm-hmm. All right, love you too. Right, we'll, you we'll do a, like a, at some point, we'll do like a full thing. <laughs> Good night, baby. All right, so... Yeah, I so wow, that was cool. We had a we had a a, a little guest there for a minute. I stopped painting because it was more interesting than painting. But you know, getting um, that's why I like I always like having I, I way you know I I vastly prefer having conversations uh, like that with women because you get that other you get the other perspective, especially attractive women. Uh, so, you know, that's no secret is I like, I like having those, I I like having conversations like that with attractive women because you get, um, you know, it's a, it's just a perspective that, uh, that, you know, that isn't, isn't native to me and it's a very different, uh, living experience. So always interesting, always appreciate it. So. So yeah, thanks my thanks to my wife for for popping in and uh, talking a little bit about the uh, creepy dudes that be rolling up. <laughs> but I don't even know how that works anymore. You know, do creepy dudes still be rolling up? I, I guess so because some of my other friends, some of my younger single friends, tell me that yes, creepy dudes still be rolling up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. But as far as complimenting people, I do think that that's, I, I do think that that's a skill that needs to come back. And it's, it's, it, it's good for people, in my opinion. Now, maybe I'm old, maybe I'm antiquated, I don't understand how today's society works. But I just feel like that is... Like, it should work that way if it doesn't. That you should be able to just give someone a compliment, not think that it's about the D, and then, you know, and, and you know, help help 
like lift someone's day right lift just lift some just give someone a little bit of a confidence booster hell i if it were i i i would prefer to do that more often with strangers and yeah and and even with people that you know maybe aren't conventionally attractive right that would be a huge confidence boost just to be able to say hey you know nice dress or you know i like what you did with your hair something like that so you know maybe that's me being a little idealistic but uh i don't know i just the modern world um confuses me with stuff like this because <clears throat> because it you know it, it had been gradually moving this way as i got older so i can't really say oh it's suddenly this way it just it just migrated that way right so we're at a point now where you know if i if i just randomly talk to a stranger um you know it could be it could be construed as inappropriate or you know something like that that said i mean there are still people myself included that will randomly <clears throat> talk to strangers in public maybe compliment them on something um and it's it's also regional too in, in my experience it seems like you know depending you could be in uh, parts of the country where that's a little more acceptable maybe a little bit more commonplace to see something like that <clears throat> um for example uh you know when i'm in when i'm in places like the like the south or even like texas the strangers like to come up and talk and then you know they'll ask you how you're doing and, and that kind of thing so let's see times are definitely different when it comes to dating yeah I just, man, for you young guys out there trying to trying to do the thing, my hats, my hat, hats off to you guys. Good luck. I definitely do not understand the environment that you're in. And like I said, um, I, I consider myself very fortunate to be uh, in in the environment I'm in. I was in when I was single, right? Because, and l let me put it this way, before prior the generation prior to me you had to have you couldn't you didn't have the online option right so prior to me you didn't have the online option so you had to have you had to be attractive initially and then you'd have to follow it up with you know the quote unquote game um so you had to be right so you had and and that's true of this generation as well you have to be attractive enough to swipe right on. I don't know if that's if my directions are correct. I don't know, but you have to be attractive enough to swipe correctly on, and you have to follow it up with game. I think uh, the the um, the spot I was in was un a, a little unique in that people you could you could meet people from the inside out, right? You could you know like it, like what my wife did. She she met me and our our whole initial conversating and all that happened online so you know you can share you can share things about yourself um in a different a totally different arena than uh uh than than how things are today so you know so she she could meet she she could really understand different parts about me and how uh what kind of person i am before you know the real before the the judgment on physical attraction um needs to happen right because it's it just doesn't exactly have to happen that way so anyways fun talk i don't know i i it's a for me, that's a it's a welcome change to uh, what we normally talk about on the channel, which is you know, gaming and bitching about Star Wars. So other than that, <laughs> it's pretty so different, refreshing, I guess. 
Um, and, and yeah, and it's fun. And like I said, it, it's fun to get uh, somebody else's perspective that just walked a different a different walk of life than you did, right? The the I like that from my wife I get the I can get the pretty girl perspective, right? The one that the used to getting attention and um you know the negative side of um dudes just trying to trying to run some down, you know? <laughs> I don't know. So you guys can tell me a little bit about, right? A little bit about how this stuff works. I just, I just, I, I find the entire topic to be interesting. So, so there's that. I need like a kind of a boring blue. Oh, that's a pretty boring blue. For the little newspaper stand here, but yes, millennials. If you have not seen it yet, and you're you're a big John Favreau fan because you love The Mandalorian, or you liked Iron Man, uh, you know, watch his early watch his earliest thing. Watch Swingers because it's a great movie. It's it's uh, it's it, it it may resonate more with with my generation, but I still think that it is still um, going to be relevant and entertaining enough for you as well. It's okay. What's up? Okay. Okay. So we gotta get up a little early. You got clothes out and all that, babe. Okay. Okay. We'll get them up. I'll, we'll get them up a little earlier. All right. Okay. All right. See that very interesting conversation. Yes. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you guys found it interesting. I definitely find it interesting. And you know, these are these are these are honestly these are conversations that um, that my wife and I. Um, we'll have with each other sometimes just you know we'll, we may that that exact conversation might be something that we talk about um over dinner right we might well back when you could eat out <laughs> we would uh we would talk about that that kind of stuff because it was interesting it was interesting to me and and you know it's it's really interesting to hear about I guess life on the other side, and, um, and that sort of thing. She also it's it's also interesting for her too because she talks to her students about this kind of stuff, um, and so it can be can be very fun from that uh, that standpoint. All right, so Miles is coming along here. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have any had anything to add. Um, I am I'm curious to hear some more some more stuff. I'll put a little I'll put a little like sticker on the on the window of this newspaper vendor. Right, a little generic sticker here. Yeah, how do you? I don't know. the The fact that anybody anybody can meet and have a meaningful relationship in any in any time, not just today, but in any period, is like a it's like a small miracle, right? <laughs> you know, it's just it's difficult. Uh, yeah. So what do you? <clears throat> Anybody else want to add, you know, compliments they may have received recently? I think I indicated that uh, 
I got a compliment about wearing a Krampus shirt. And uh, that was the most recent compliment I got um, from a stranger. And then compliments I got from friends. You know, I was called Batman recently. I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> we'll call we'll call it that we'll call that a compliment. So yeah, being called Batman and uh, compliments on my uh, I got compliments on like my my Krampus shirt. Um, I got compliments on like my Thanksgiving shirt. I regularly get compliments on my Cobra Kai shirt. So I don't know. There we go, and let's do. All right. Well, signage there. <clears throat> but yeah, curious to hear from you guys. What uh, what sort of compliments do you get? Do you not get any compliments? If you don't get compliments, do you want to get compliments? And do you get compl and if you do get compliments, do you get compliments that you like or dislike? Like what are some things have you ever been embarrassed by a compliment? That's a good question, right? You ever had someone say something to you that was meant to be a compliment, uh, but was not but you know, to you it was not a compliment. <laughs> I will tell you one of the funniest, <clears throat> most embarrassing, well, not really embarrassing. It's just funny, right? Uh, and I've told it, I've told this story on stream before because this, uh, this happened uh, about a year ago. So this is pre-COVID, right? When, when you know, humans were free <laughs> and you could interact. Um, I, uh, the, the story goes was that I was sexually harassed and uh and you know treated to uh you know some derogatory uh racial uh derogatory racial speak we'll say right let's just call it that uh <laughs> this was about a year ago um and uh i was in a i was in a lowe's you know just doing my thing and i go to check out and i'm wearing my um uh, cobra kai shirt I actually have two Cobra Kai shirts, but I'm wearing my favorite Cobra Cobra Kai shirt, and uh, so I'm, you know, getting getting checked out by this lady. She's uh, uh, she's probably ten years older than me, uh, and you know, she sees my shirt, and she's like, "Oh, I recognize that shirt. That's from Karate Kid, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's actually, you know, it's from Cobra Kai." You know, and, and I tell her, like, you know, there's a new show out, Cobra Kai. Uh, it's about, you know, the it's about the bad guy, really, Johnny, that kind of thing. So I'm trying to explain it to her. And suddenly, she, <laughs> out of nowhere, this lady, uh, she comes from around the checkout stand in the Lowe's. She comes, she just pops out from around the checkout stand, wraps her arms around me, and she says... Save me, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> so, so yes, it is possible to be sexually harassed and treated to, we'll call it negative racial comment comments at the same time. Um, and you know, I think it was meant to be a compliment. I think it. You know, we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think it was, I think it was supposed to come from a good place, but uh, yeah, that did not land well. <laughs> that was uh, extremely creepy. But uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, that was that was that was interesting. So that's that's how I'm going to say that. That that was interesting. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, one of the funnier stories to me, uh, but 
if you guys have any other uh, interesting stories about a compliment that didn't land well or, um, you know, or just a, a really awkward interaction such as the one I just explained, yeah, let's hear it. It'll be fun. Come on, you can you can tell me about it. Because we don't get, I mean, we, we're not going to get those kinds of interactions anymore. <laughs> doesn't, say, doesn't seem like it. We're not going to get as many of those interactions anymore. And yes, that would even be after, after the vaccine is deployed. I still don't think randos are going to be, you know, rushing around the counter to grab you and say something racial to you. <laughs> so, but interaction, in, uh, but uh, but like I was saying, like kind of my main point uh, was I do, I think there's a place in society for random interaction with people. I and it, it, I, I see it as a negative that we don't uh, that we don't have, I guess, guidelines in place, and that we don't practice it. It would be interesting to have, you know, uh, an actual designated, and I'm sure that maybe the, maybe they'll come up with this in the future, right? But maybe there will be a an actual designated place where you can practice. Hey, what's up, Matt? Where you can practice social interaction. Let's say you were, um, you know, let's say you were socially um, uh, socially awkward person, or you were, you know, maybe just not. Uh, not comfortable interacting with strangers. Uh, th it would be, it would, you know, it'd be nice if there were like more places, and I'm going to use the word safe, safe places. That there were safe places where you could, uh, where you could ply your craft. I guess, I guess that's what I'm saying. So, anywho. We'll work on miles on the sidewalk here. Well, yeah, he's he's pretty fun. He's turning out all right. Um. I've been in the mood to watch more just kind of older movies lately. We were talking earlier about um, watching some Die Hard again, which is the greatest Christmas movie, in my opinion. Um, so we need to we need to do that. We need to watch some Die Hard. Actually, let me do that with let's do that with Gwen. Even though Gwen is not, she's not nearly done. But we can at least get, since we've got the color out, let's just do a little skeletal horde. This will dry a little bit clearer, and then we'll hit it with uh, uh, some Basilicanum gray to bring it back down to, you know, dirty concrete looking thing. Yeah, I I I don't understand how uh, how in person interaction works anymore. Maybe we'll be even worse at it. I, I I would imagine so. We'll be even worse at in person interaction. <laughs> the time you know by the time that we're allowed to do that again. What do you think? Because that, for sure, in my opinion, in-person interaction gonna be gonna be not good, <laughs> and it's probably not gonna be encouraged. So how does one how does one do that? Oof! This is this color is too light to be to be her shoes. It's actually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I could make this work. 
Yeah, I'll make this work. <clears throat> you doing any uh, painting tonight, Matt? Okay. Let's, uh... Paint our little slippers. All right. These models are so simple, but at the same time, they're it's hard to keep everything nice and clean, and to keep the keep the colors popping the way that you know, you expect them to. All right. So we were talking about compliments. Um, what are some compliments you would want to hear from from strangers? What would you want strangers to come up and compliment you on? I guess I don't. For me, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't. I don't really have an answer to that. Yeah, I don't. I wish I. I wish I had a, a good answer for it, but I don't. I don't know what. Uh, hmm. I'll do a little space wolf gray, and this will be. Actually, I should use. Yeah, space wolf gray is okay. I'm just gonna use it as an undercoater for the white. Right, so we get a little shade, a little shading. Yeah, it's just we'll just do it. I do think. Uh, Let's see, no painting. We got a bunch of all Aristea sculpts coming in tomorrow. Oh, wow, nice. We're going to try to get in uh, some games this weekend, maybe Sunday. Um, I'll let you know what we got, what we got going on. Um, we may be a little challenged on getting games because uh, I don't I don't know if CQ has a if they've revised any of their in-store policies regarding you know us gaming out front of the store I don't think any of that changes but uh, I, I want to be sure right we don't want to get them in trouble Regarding the compliments, when someone says you have a nice smile or laugh, it makes me happy. Well, that's cool. Those are compliments I have never gotten. <laughs> never gotten uh, any any of those types of compliments. But that would be, yeah, that would be a good one. Uh, let me see. I guess for me, the the best compliments I've ever gotten is when I've said something in public and a stranger just laughs. <laughs> that's, I guess that's my, that's, yeah, that's what it, that's what mine is. If, if I can get just rando people to laugh at me, um, that's, actually, let me correct myself. <laughs> if I could just get random people to laugh with me, 
that would be fine. Because, <laughs> yeah, you could get people to laugh at you. I don't think that's what you're looking for, though. <laughs> um, let's see. Sometimes I've had... Uh, uh, this this happened once um, my wife and I were uh, we were in Walmart of all places we were in a Walmart and um, this was probably three years ago uh, we were in a Walmart and they had in this Walmart they had like a, a public they had like a it's almost like a, a, a vendor like an on-site vendor for Cox communications they had the, they had a they had so they had these people on site inside a Walmart trying to get people to sign up for Cox, uh, you know, internet or cable or whatever. And this was up in uh, Foothill Ranch, with that Walmart up there off of uh, uh, Portola. And uh, we're walking by, and you know, one of those one of the sales guys or whatever is like, "Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute?" And I'm like. Uh, no, you know, I've been a Cox, uh, customer for 19 years, which is true. I've been a Cox customer. This was three years ago. So I've been a Cox customer for like 22 years. So anyways, I was a Cox customer for like 19 years at the time. The guy walks up, he's like, yeah, excuse me guys. And I'm like, no, you know, we're, we're fine. We, we've had Cox for 19 years. And he's like, oh, so you must be, you know, really happy with our service. And I was like, no, absolutely not not happy with you guys at all no very bad stop and this and this random lady across from me just started busting up laughing right now i didn't intend to i wasn't even trying to be funny i was actually just trying to be a dick because cox pisses me off and so and my wife was laughing she she was laughing but shocked at the same time like like, holy shit, you just, like, ruined this guy's life. Because he was like, he, you know, he's like, yeah, but sir. I'm like, no, bad, no. No one should have Cox. You, you're lucky to be here. You're a damn monopoly. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> and I said it that way in no uncertain terms in the middle of the, in the, middle of the Walmart. And, uh. And yeah, people were laughing. <laughs> they thought that was the funniest shit ever. But I was like genuinely mad. And, you know, we, we had shit to do. So we, we kept walking. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's you know, um, sometimes you'll just, some it, it, that was a natural thing. Um, sometimes it, uh People have told me sometimes I'm funniest when I'm just mad about something, and I just say, like, I just speak without a filter, that that's super funny. <laughs> and some strangers find it funny, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I got that dude fired, but, like, he, he should have taken, he should have read the room, right? He should have. He should have probably guessed by how fast, because I walk real. You guys know I can. I walk really fast um, when I'm just trying to get shit done. Like I, I move pretty quick. So and and we were, we had, there, we were, we had given no indication that we wanted to engage at all with these guys. But like, why be pushy with somebody that's what he should have just done? What this guy, if he was smart, what he should have just done would have been, oh well, thank you for your. You know, thank you for your support. And then and then broke out. He should have just said, hey, thanks. Thanks for being a customer. And then left. Not, no, but you love us, right? Like I was going to turn around and give him a testimonial. Uh, no, it's Cox is terrible. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Um, and you're bad. That's. <laughs> but yeah, it sometimes stuff like that happens. Um and yeah, I do take it. I do take that as a compliment when strangers think that that's super funny <laughs> and they laugh at it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. There you go. That's my ideal. That's my ideal compliment. Laugh at, laugh at me being upset about something. 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably my thing. I want people to... I don't need, you know, people to tell me... Um... Uh, compliments like, you know, wow, you're you're just you've got such rugged, handsome, good looks. <laughs> I'm not. It's not like that. If they laugh at something that I say, that's good enough. Right. That's acceptable. Any other any other compliments? I am interested in hearing what people's what people's preferred compliments are. I would just like to know that in general, because like I said, I, I would, like in general, I would want to work on that, just being nicer to people in general, just saying nicer things to people, <laughs> except for that sales guy. I don't have to be nice to salespeople, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so biased against, I am kind of biased against salespeople, I don't know. I do have like an inherent, I don't trust salespeople at all. Salespeople are supposed to be, you know, their whole, their whole job kind of predicates on, on, you know, people either liking them or trusting them. And I don't like or trust salespeople in general. So I could be a very bad, horrible person to try to sell to So we're going to slowly build this white back, right, using, uh, I'm using Glacier Blue. And then it'll have a top highlight of, uh, of white on her. This is a fantastic sculpt. This is a great little sculpt. Gotta like, you gotta like Spider-Gwen. Great pose, right? Nice energy. I don't like the tactical thing again. It's just me. I don't like tactical. I want I want my minis to be on the base, not on a tactical thing. Yeah, most salespeople come across as sleazy. I just don't. Yeah, I just do not trust salespeople. You know, everybody has to deal with salespeople in one way or another. You know, and I, I I also have to understand that some of my some of my friends, some of my favorite friends in fact, are salespeople. I just in general, I do not trust salespeople. I have an implicit bias against salespeople. Not saying that that's right. It's just me. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. But like, don't be that dude that tries to chase me across the Walmart. You're gonna get wrecked hard. Like, I'm especially mean when I'm in a rush. <laughs> I forgot why we were in that Walmart. It's like we, we'd run in there. We, we did not want to go into a Walmart. 
Like you, one does not just you know choose to randomly go in a Walmart. Um, but we we were there. I think we we needed something. I just can't remember what it was. Right? We needed some just general item that, and Walmart happened to be close to us. So let's just run in the Walmart, see if we can get it there. I think that's exactly what it was. And um, yeah, and we ended up going in, and there's a dumb sales guy in there. Yeah, let's just keep keep working on this stuff. I am looking for hopefully we we get to play some Aristea this weekend. I could be down for Aristea. I could also be down for some Guild Ball. Sounds kind of good. Also, I don't know. Anybody else have plans for the weekend? Who's done with their Christmas shopping? I am nearly done. There's just like a couple of small items I have to take care of. And that's it. Then I'm done. We're... We're trying to go a little more minimalist um, for Christmas this year. Our, our boys still have a ton of stuff that they will be opening, but we're still trying to cut down. Close to finishing a crew Malifo. You've been wanting to try it. Oh, what crew is that, uh, Matt? Dude, did you see the, the, um, the new faction book for Society of Explorer? Explorer, explorers. They have nice. They have a really nice looking, like steampunk, steampunk. Um, you know, exploration aesthetic. It looks really fun. Ma Tucket. Oh, cool. I need to get back into form playing some Malifaux as well. That is a game that I that I miss right now. Malifaux. It's a very good game. Yeah, they got the they got the new faction book at uh, CQ, and I was looking at some of the cards. And they look they do look rather cool. Oh, man, just trying to get this these eyes to shape correctly. There you go. Okay. Freaking gremlins writing big ass rooster. Yes. 
that is pretty awesome. Okay, so we're able to get Spider Gwen here. Get some of her colors to define a little bit better as we're going. So that's exciting. We'll wrap these up uh, fairly soon here, it looks like. Looks like we've got pretty good, pretty good traction going on these. I don't think we'll quite finish them. But yeah, they'll look pretty good. Okay, so the white's going down pretty well. I want her to have a little bit more shading or a little bit more highlighting on the black. So maybe I'll work that out. All right. Any questions on the spider sets? All right. They're getting there, they're coming along. Let's do the second part of the wash on the base. Uh, let's do, here we go, Basilicanum Gray. I'll try to take care of this. You ever try? No, I have still not have. Tr I still haven't tried out MCP. I have a painted copy of the starter. Of the like, like right the main set. I have that. I have not. I have not cracked it for a game. Just painted it. This has been sitting here in my hobby room for some time. And during COVID, I think I way overshadowed that, but that's okay. Well, it's a little thick. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, this is old. This, this bottle of Basilicanum Gray is old, so it's like real thick and oily. I guess I, I'm gonna pull some excess off. But yeah, this stuff, this stuff's going down like gel almost. Hey, Chris. Yeah, this isn't. I mean, this isn't my MCP. This is just. This is commission MCP. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. This is a, a pretty cool set. I like, I this Spider-Man pose is leagues better than the 
you know, the standard Peter Parker Spider-Man that comes in the main set. I'm fairly disappointed in that. In that, in the sculpts, in the main set. They just, they don't, they're not nearly as good as, as the ones that came out as expansions. Maybe that's intentional, right? It's a shame, though, because you like all those cool characters in the original. All right. So there's definitely some highlighting and stuff to do there. But for now, uh, I'm not going to. For now, I think what we'll do is. The models are. Not really. I didn't really. I don't find, not compared to Ma uh, Malifaux models. These models are like a joy to put together compared to your average Malifaux kit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know, Chris, I always ask your opinion on this game. Um, and I do plan on trying it out, mainly with my son. But yeah, let's, uh, go ahead and get her, right? I mean, there's still details and stuff to happen there. Some are, oh, I don't know why we lost, uh, chat there. There we go. Okay. Star Lord is like three to four pieces for his head. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's Malifaux kits like that too. So I, I don't know. My experience is they're overall, they're still probably a little bit easier than your average Malifaux kit to put together. If only because the these pieces tend to be a little chunkier. Malifaux pieces can be extremely delicate. there that's bugging me on her this little the corset that she's wearing the line isn't very clear here I'm trying to straighten that out there we go okay There we go. Okay. Still waiting for a few more kids to finish what you want. For MCP. Okay. All right. Let's let those dry. I think we're I think we're at the limit of what we could do tonight. You know, there's still highlighting to do. There's a there's some smaller detail work to do. But they're looking all right. They're looking okay. It's not the not particularly proud of those paint jobs, but they should clean up pretty well. Angela, Enchantress, Cable, and Domino for now. Bob and Deadpool. Okay, cool. Alrighty. So, yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty fun sculpts. Pretty fun. 
we're good. You know, up next, uh, we're going to paint some more Star Wars things. And uh, I've got, i got to prime her, but I do have another one of these uh, Gen Con Valkyries to paint, which will be fun. All right. All right. So with that, um, we're going to draw this feed to a close. So, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching. Really interesting uh, uh, conversation tonight, a little interesting topic. And uh, it's fun for my wife to come hang out with us for, for a few moments here. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this stream. want to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.